All right, hello everyone. So today's 31st of October. Now, yesterday I had no power from 8.30 in the morning, exactly when I was doing the video, until the late hours. So it came like I had power back at around 6.15 or 6.30, something like that, in the evening, which obviously left me pretty much stranded without a video. So today, let's start from... Uh, well, let's start and get smashing. Now, I've already posted the Astro Hours. Yesterday, I posted the Astro Hours and the Swing Days, and then I had the power cut when I was doing the video. I also now posted for today, Tuesday, 31st of October, the Astro Hours into the members area, so you should be able to see them. Now, today, let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, so here we are. Now, these are the astrals. I've put them here. This is gold. Now, yesterday, gold was in, was in a sandwich zone. So, there was only two things you could do. You could either sell the highs, okay? And those were the targets there, okay? Remember where we're getting these from. You're using your ATAM strategy. Well, most of you are. So, you know where you're going to sell off, okay? So, you got those levels there. So, once you have your levels, you understand what to do. Now, yesterday I said, if it comes down, you got room to go up. Okay. And the swing day for this is Tuesday. So we might also push up. And I said, targets we've got there, 2007, which is already done, plus these two here, 2013 and 15. Now, if you take a look at the daily today, okay, that's 79. So if we go back up, that'd be big push up into 2032 but what we've got here is 62 which is 2015 which is there all right so 2015 and yesterday this was the zone all right so you could have kind of like on the dip down you could have bought here at the astro hour market going up astro hour here selling off again but this was choppy zone right so if you've learned technical analysis from me you would have been smart you would have said well wait a minute there are gaps down here so i'm only going to be a buyer at an astro hour if the market comes down into this zone or if i want to sell i want to do it around the highs here or at the tops here where the pst levels are at Astro Hours. Now, so this is an Astro Hour now, as you can see, this is where the market bought yesterday and looks like we've got even lows here happening. This is also the weekly pivot. Now on the daily, as you can see, the target is down there. So we've got room to push into 72.77, okay? So what I'm gonna do is put 77. Yesterday we had 76, so that's your 77 plus your 72 is around here, okay? So we've got room to come down into this zone. Okay, got room to come down into this zone, but this is also, as you can see, a buy zone. The market's kind of like filled in that zone. There's still a bit of room to fill, as you can see. However, this is an astro hour at the moment. This is not a bad time, 7.25. Okay, and this is your 7.30 right now, ending, and that's basically where we are, okay? What you've got to do is look out for today, the, the 10.55 to 11.05, until then we could get breakouts, okay? So the market can actually push through a breakout, and just be mindful for 8.46. I haven't put 8.46 here, simply because despite the fact well let's just put it in okay this is let's see where we are here 8 15 30 45 so that's there so we might muck around here for a little bit and then afterwards we might see some action okay also the good time to look out for is this 11 10 okay 10 past 11 is not a bad spot which is here Okay, uh, and this could take us, um, yeah, this could take us towards 12.30 and then obviously here into New York opening. All right, so basically these are swing places where you can trade at hours. Now in the, in the members area, I've made a few comments, so be mindful, okay? I've, we've got an option into 12.40 from 
from 11.05 to 11.50. So this is something we need to be careful about, okay? But at the end of the day, I still say, you know, like, um, whatever happens in the 11.50 zone here, 11.05, 11.50, it's probably part of this, okay? And here, you can expect uh, a bit of a surprise, you know, like a push through, like a move and so on. And also possible sudden move coming up here, 10 past 3, 350. After this 350, we might have a sudden move, okay? Because this should, the, the market should take us into 350. And after that, we should have a sudden flip, okay? So be mindful. And then that will have an energetic push towards 6 o'clock, which should bring us to 750 to 930, where the market should then stabilize and we should end the night around 11 o'clock. We could still have a push towards 11 o'clock as well. All right, so that's that. Okay, so what does that all mean for us? Well, if we want to buy, not a bad place where they bought yesterday. It's an astro hour. Going up is not a bad idea. Cover your trade, start taking profits, or push the market into that zone. All right. And also, I did say 2032. Can the market do 2032? It certainly can do it. Okay. Because there's some pushing power. Whoops. There's some pushing power here. So 2032 is an option. So keep it on the cards. Okay. And, you know, if you want to push the market, you could do so. But definitely cover your trade as we're going up. Why? Because technically, okay, this is our zone here. 2032 is pretty much up on this line to so the Saturn Mercury line together. This will square out as well. So if we do have a push up into that zone, don't be surprised. Afterwards, we should have retracement. You know, we should have some kind of a retracement. Maybe uh, we'll get that retracement later on when this war sizzles down a little bit. But be careful. We're in a wars, war zone, war time period. So, you know, just be mindful. Um, at the end of the day, All right? On the one hand, we're in a sell zone. On the other hand, um, we're also in a war. So this up push upwards is not, you know, is not uh, random. Okay, uh, and also we're going to be going through some turmoils as well. Also in November, so this October November period is pretty dramatic. So the market, if it does come back down, we want to look for buy levels, which I've already indicated here. Let's take a look at SP500. SP500, same kind of thing. I didn't put the hours here. Maybe I should have, but this is 725 here. That's your 730 bar. And then you've got 1105 here. Okay, 11 to 1145. Okay, which is there. Okay, and let's take a look at, you can put the others in, not a problem. Remember, this is a buy zone and we marked this in before, right? This is Friday and this is Monday. And if you take a look at your swing days as well, which I put up also yesterday, swing days, SP500 is a Tuesday. So if we dip down a little bit more, okay, the market may give us a buy opportunity. If we go up, which I think we, you know, we might want to do, um, then we want to sell. Now look how the market came up into this. PST level yesterday, 38.14, okay, and that's pretty much there, okay, see how these PST levels work nice, also in the video as I was making yesterday, I said we'll probably go to that weekly pivot for sure, and this was the Astro Hour for yesterday, it just went sizzling up all the way into the targets, and then dragged back down, on the weekly, if you take a look at the weekly, we've done the goodbye kiss. Look at that, 41.32, 4182, 4182, pretty much there, okay? The high was around there, 4178, okay? So that's pretty much done on the weekly. If we go back up to retest that, that's also good. On the daily, 42. is 4,200, which we should put that there. Let's bring 4,200 here. This is also going to be a sell zone. So if we go up, you want to be looking to sell if you tighten this up a little bit. Okay. 
you'll see that's the up move before the flush down. All right. So this zone is going to be a sell zone for sure. We're going to be using it in order to sell it effectively. If the market comes up into the astro hours here, you want to look for a sell. Okay. That's that. Now with the indices, we've got a few days which are a swing day. So yesterday, like I said, I was doing the video and I said this would be a good place to go up or if the market comes down here, you can go up here in order to get there. Okay. Because if we come down before we have up targets, then it's good to buy in order to go up there. And this is what the market did. Nice and stable going up at the Astro Hour right into the weekly and that zone there. Okay, so the market selling off at the weekly is natural and then going up into that zone. So same thing kind of we, what we want to do today is also the same kind of scenario. We want to go push up a little bit more and then sell off. But this weekly goodbye kiss, as you can see, is pretty good. And that's 4,220 on the price. Okay, what you want to do is come at least into 4,200. So I'm just going to put 4,220 here as well because it's on the price. But we should be closer to the 4,200 zone before we sell off. Okay, I hope that makes sense, right? So as we go up, we want to be selling off either here, that's the weekly, or these levels here. If we're up at an astro hour, we want to be selling down on that. The trend is down and we've broken some lows, which is fine. And we should carry on breaking them. So the market should probably go up. Now, sooner or later, we're going to go above this level. We're going to come into 4,307. So mark that in for some time. I'm not sure when that will happen, but this will break sooner or later in order to push up and sell off again. In the meantime, though, we've broken the channel down, which is fine. Okay, even if I was to do this, let's do that. Okay. This is the channel here. As you can see, we've broken that. So this is going to be a resistance zone for us to sell off at. And you can see that's how it's panning out. All right. That's the resistance there. So this zone is still a sell zone. If we go up a little bit more, we want to sell that 4,200. 220 is also good in addition to that 4,182, which is the weekly. Okay. Let's take a look at Euro dollar. Okay, Euro dollar, we're in the sideways motion here. Now, the Euro dollar, we had the swing day. <sighs> Yesterday was a swing day for this, okay? And we were at the lows, as you can see. So on Monday, let's go into the 15-minute chart, okay? This is Monday here. As you can see, we didn't get the low at the Astro Hour, but we got those targets pretty much at the top there, as you can see, pretty close. Um, and at the Astro Hours, we had the push up here, as you can see. So not a very good matching one, uh, but that's just how it is sometimes a little off. This is why you've got to match it to your technical analysis. And if it doesn't match a technical analysis, don't trade it. Okay, the whole idea here is we're matching price with time. And if it doesn't match, don't just jump in because it's an astro hour. That'd be a rather stupid thing to do. Okay. Now, once again, here, as you can see, we're in between levels. So the support on the daily is 43, 1.0537. Resistance is 1.0684. So 0.684, 0.537. Here it is, 0684. 0537 is down here. Okay, so we've got a bit of room. This is going to be our support. That's going to be our resistance. On the weekly, I've got these targets. So these levels are sell zones. So we've got 4445, which is 0644. 06 and 63. 
Este. All right, so we, we still have a bit of room that the market can push up into. So this is not a bad zone. So the market's pushing up. This is good. It comes back down. We could go up into an astro hour and then follow this until the next swing day. If we get back up here, okay, we want to be sellers again, especially on the next swing day. Uh, so if we're down here, like we kind of like go up here and sell off again on the next swing day. Hope that's clear. Let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ and Bitcoin. Now, indices are all going quite similar, as you know, during the day. But what you need to be careful about is this. If you take a look at your swing days, your SP500, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, they've got different days happening. OK, and when we've got a bunch of days happening, the most effective way to use them is to use them at tops and bottoms. So don't just take any old swing day. Just, you know, look at look at the swing day and then just check, well, is this a low? Is this a high or is there a potential low or high ability today so that I can take that trade? OK, according to my bias. So what you've got to be careful is matching the swing day to some kind of market format where you got a low. For example, yesterday, Euro dollar swing day Monday was logical. Why? Well, because the market was at the lows. You see, that's your trend line. The market's at the lows. So at an astro hour, which, you know, you can use technical level or an astro hour in order to push up into that direction. So now we can say, well, I've got another swing day coming up. And when that comes up, if I'm up here somewhere, then I obviously want to be selling at an astro hour from technical price levels. And that's how you use them. Okay. And that's how it should be like rather logical. All right. So this is Dow Jones. So let's take a look at Dow. Let's do this first of all. Whoops. That should be up here. Never mind. Okay, this, these are the astrals for yesterday as well on this one. So now the swing day again, once again, the swing day for this Dow Jones it was Monday. All right, so that's your Monday. All right, so market really picking up nicely going into those targets. Like I said, if you're using your ATAM strategy, you know where you should be going. You see, we had these from before. You would have had them because I didn't. You know, I couldn't do the video, but you see, you got those levels happening there. So you understand if we're going to go up, you know where we're going. Okay. And that's the beautiful thing. This is something we'll probably break, take out stops, come up a little bit more and then push down. Now, the next swing day, as you know, it's coming up um, later on. So another big push up is okay with us until maybe 49 which is 32.8 probably 33.287 a bit up there let's take a look at the weekly i thought we should have a let's see maybe a good buy kiss that's your good buy kiss 48 33.637 um Maybe one more push up into that daily. So going up again to take out some stops is not a bad idea in my opinion. If the market does come back, it will come back to about what? 37, 32, 680. 32, 680. Let's take a look. 32, 680. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so if we do come back down, okay, if we do come back down also to here, I can do this too. If we come back into this daily zone here, this is also okay to go long at an astro hour if we dip down to push up. Now those targets, you can you can take this for a start, 49. Okay, 32, 2, 33, 287. So 33, 287 on the daily. So somewhere around here is also okay. All right. So we might just push up a little bit more. And then the next swing day, 
whenever it comes, we'll be looking for the cells. Coming back to fill in some gap here, okay? You see this target already being made yesterday, coming into the astro hour and then sizzling down into here. So this zone, this zone, probably okay to go up. Just look out for those little surprising moments. Also, look, if you're using your PST indicator at an astro hour, okay, buying at support levels, on your PSD is also okay. This is also especially very handy on your one hour chart, okay? On the one hour chart, it kind of like pulls back and then you can just go with the flow. This is a nice impulse wave. So a bit of a pull back, okay, is okay to push back up in there. So coming back into the daily or the weekly zone, you can go long again, okay? Um, same with NASDAQ, I'm thinking, because they all go together. If you take a look at the daily here, that's an up move there. Remember last week, I said NASDAQ did its job earlier, so it just fell straight down. So on the weekly, if you take a look, we've got that good bike. It's at 47. So we should get to that 14461. And that's already up there because I put that there yesterday. 14.4. Let's come here. 14.4. Six one. Just bear with me. Fourteen four six one is around there. Okay. Whoops. All right. So it's pretty close there. Okay. So that's still a possible target there on the weekly, and on the daily. If it does go up, forty seven is fourteen five eight seven. Fourteen. Five, eight, seven is up here, but I'd rather take that weekly one. The weekly definitely you should take if you're trading the NASDAQ. I don't trade NASDAQ. Okay, I'm more of a gold SP500 kind of guy and occasionally Dow Jones, uh, but NASDAQ is a bit steroids. That's what it is. Okay, indices on steroids. So, that's that. Okay, so this is, as you can see, a sideways market. So you have to be a little smart here. If you want to go long, you got to choose the lower end. There's a bit of a gap here the market might want to fill in. So if you're going to wait for the pullback, okay, you know, wait for the pullback to come back down, maybe down here even, okay, because the swing days on this NASDAQ is today, right? So swing day for this is today. Tuesday, no, sorry, SP500 is Tuesday. So today, well, this could also go with the SP500. So if we dip back down 14068, 13816 is a bit too far down. 13816 is a bit too far down. But I can't think of anything else. HCL1, 14172, 14. 172 is around here. So if the market does dip down, this is a logical place at an astro hour to go up, okay? Until the next swing day, and then you could sell the highs as well and play it in that direction and start reversing from those levels, okay? The weekly pivot, you should have been on top of your game because I always mention the weekly. There's a reason we use the weekly daily opening pivots because they are important. If you sold off the weekly pivot yesterday, you should have been just fine, including the Astro Hour of last night. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now with Bitcoin, Okay, so these levels we talked about before, so the market is obviously reversing here. Let's take a look at the weekly as well. As you can see, there's a sideways market, but there's not enough juice. So that's basically, it. this is last week, and this is where the market is kind of like sliding down pretty close to that PST 76, 36, 150, 36, 163. So 36163 is up here somewhere. Okay. Did it do that? I think not. Okay, now 
it just fell short around here at 35,500. So still it, like I said as well last week, from the highs you can sell off at swing days and that's not a problem. Now that's Monday. Let's come back here. Okay. That's your Monday. That's your Tuesday. Okay. Happening today. So if it goes up, I'm in favor of selling it downwards because I think it should go down. Okay. Uh, in fact, it should come all the way down into the 20,000s again, into this lower end of the 20,000s. So that's my opinion of where it should come back down to before we buy and hold. Your target there on the daily is 62. So we should head towards that 33,000. Okay. 33,125, 32, 750. Those are the lines down here. So the market should sizzle down. If it goes back up, selling at an astro hour, not a bad idea.